As I mentioned before, I am preparing material to explain to you what principal component analysis technique is, which is fundamental in machine learning. The topic we will be covering today, like the one we just covered about obtaining eigenvalues and eigenvectors, is essential to understand PCA. Today, I will focus on showing you how you can obtain variance, covariance, and correlation using linear algebra, which allows us to process information quickly and efficiently. Additionally, we will standardize our variables and see the advantage of standardizing before obtaining the covariance matrix. The first thing we will do is calculate the variance. Here is a table that records the age, height, and weight of four children. I invented the data based on the growth patterns of children from the World Health Organization, so that three variables increase proportionally, meaning the correlation between them is high and positive. Under the table, we can see the mean and variance of each variable. I obtained these values using Excel. This is the formula for calculating the variance, where n is the number of elements of rows. A arrow is the set of values of the variable being analyzed and a bar is the average value of the variable. Let's obtain the variance of each variable, whose vector is formed by the values 2, 3, 4, and 5. The average is 3.5, and the number of elements is 4. We then have that the age vector minus the average of the age variable results in a vector whose elements are minus 1.5, minus 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 1.5. If we substitute these values into the formula, we see that the variance of the age variable is 1.66, which is the same as the value obtained in Excel. Next, we have the covariance between two variables, whose formula is very similar to that of the variance. We have the vectors of the two variables being analyzed and the subtraction of these with their corresponding average values. Let's obtain the covariance between age and height. The vector a will be h, and the vector b will be height. These are their vectors and average values. We obtain the transpose of the values resulting from subtracting the height vector minus its average. We subtract the h average from the h vector. If we substitute these values into the formula, we see that the covariance between h and height is 20.33. Let's see how to calculate the covariance that exists between all variables, that is, the covariance matrix. Once again, the formula is very similar to that of a variable's variance, only now we take information from the entire matrix and create a matrix with the average of each variable so that we can carry out the subtraction of their averages in one step. If we substitute the values into the formula, we obtain a symmetric matrix, meaning that the values below the main diagonal are equal to those above it. The main diagonal contains the variance values of each variable. If we add the variable names to both the rows and columns, we can see that the variance of H is indeed 1.66, and the covariance between H and height is equal to 20.33. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I am going to standardize the values in the table so that the average values of all variables are equal to zero and they have a standard deviation equal to one. Once our table is standardized, we are going to obtain the covariance matrix again. We use the same formula, only now the average of our variables is equal to zero. So it simplifies, leaving only one divided by n minus 1 multiplied by the transpose of the matrix and by the matrix itself. We substitute the values once again into the formula and see that we still have a symmetrical matrix, but now the main diagonal contains only ones. This is because if we standardize the values, what we will obtain is their correlation matrix with which it is easier to interpret the relationship between the variables. 